This is CS50W Project 2 Commerce, uh, Step 1 Models. Your application should have at least three models in addition to the user model. One for auction listings, one for bids, and one for comments made on auction listing. It's up to you to decide what fields each model should have and what the types of those fields should be. You may have additional models if you would like. Um, so this is will be submitted with my project code. Uh, step 2, Create Listing. You should be able to visit a page to create a new listing. They should be able to specify a title for the listing, a text-based description, and what the starting bid should be. Users should also optionally be able to provide a URL for an image for the listing in their category. Um, so I'll create one. Step three, active listings page. The default route for your web application should let users view all the currently active auction listings. For each active listing, this page should display at minimum the title, the description, current price, and photo if one exists for the listing. So here you can see Cauldron, that was just made. Uh, step four, listing page. Click, clicking on a listing should take users to a page specific to that listing. On that page, users should be able to view all details about the listing, including the current price for the listing. Okay, so here I'm going to, um, if the user is signed in, the user should be able to add the item to their watch list. If the item is already on the watch list, the user should be able to remove it. Um, so here I'm going to sign in as a different user. Since I posted it as Lee. So now I'm logged in as Harry. Um, I can add the item to my watch list. There it is. And I can optionally remove it from my watch list. If the user is signed in, the user should be able to bid on the item. The bid must be at least as large as the starting bid. It must be greater than any other bids that have been placed, if any. If the bid doesn't meet those criteria, the user should be presented with an error. So the price is 10. So I'm going to bid 1. And here you get an error. Bid must be greater than the starting bid. Now I'm going to do a legal bid, 15. That went through. And now I'm going to do a bid uh, higher than the starting bid, but lower than the highest bid, 11. And again, there's another error. Bid must be greater than, than high bid. Okay, if the user is signed in and is the one who created the listing, the user should have the ability to close the auction from this page, which makes the highest bid or the winner of the auction and makes the listing no longer active. So no option to close the listing because I'm here right now. But if I log back in as Lee, go to the call train, I have the ability to close the listing. The status goes from active to closed, and the winner is Harry, who had uh, placed the highest bid. If the user is signed in on a closed listing page and the user has won the auction, the page should say so. And then users who are signed in should be able to add comments to the listing page. The listing page should display all comments that have been made on that listing. So I'll go to a different listing. Here's some comments already there, and just like an add more comments. Um, there's the comment. Step five, watch list. Users who are signed in should be able to visit a watch list page, which should display all the listings that a user has added to their watch list. Clicking on any of those listings should take the user to that list uh, listings page. I already demonstrated this earlier. Um, step six, categories. Users should be able to visit a page that displays a list of all listing categories. Clicking on the name of any category should take the user to a page that displays all of the active listings in that category. So here's the books category and then the textbook. Finally, Django admin interface. Uh, via, the, via the Django admin interface, a site administrator should be able to view, add, edit, and delete any listings, comments, and bids made on the site. Um, so here I'm going to go to the admin interface, and you can see uh, I can, as the administrator, I can adjust bids, comments, listing, users, watch list, and again, this demonstrates also step one of uh, the models that I have. Um, okay, so that's the project. Thank you.